And it's green, so. <laughs> New life. Who did? All right. Hope you guys are coming over here because I can't even get to the old one. We're just waiting to see. You just move your hands entertainingly for a second. Dun, 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 dun. I know. Hopefully you guys could see this because I, I lost the whole live on uh, on the other one. It just twirly whirly. Wait a minute here. Oh, okay. We got Michelle here. Hi, Michelle. All right. Hopefully everybody starts coming over. I'm so sorry. It's going to be this a very boring start of this because I'm trying to see if I can share. Yeah. This is, uh, hopefully people be coming in. All right. Vicky found us. Okay. Keep looking for us, guys. Keep looking. I'm trying to, ah, my phone here. Oh, okay. A lot of you found us. Okay. So it looks like you, you're getting here. Let me find. Yes. Uh, are we better? We look. The light is green on the inter inter a box. Um, I'm pasting the link on the other channel. Oh, you wrote take two. Okay, all right. So I got it on my phone now too. And don't forget re thummy. Those other thumbs didn't count. We're still pixelated. Yeah. So it's that's the, we are literally the best we can possibly do at this point. And the light's green. Yeah. God, I'm ready to move back to the city. Just for this. I mean, how horrible to have an internet thing that we have no internet. It really, this is. So um, part of what my issue is, is that they will not give us a new box. So they want you to upgrade. Yeah, it's it's not lighting. It's it's our, because I'm perfectly, you know, I'm crystal, I, I can shut it. Close it just to see. We're just te we're checking the lighting, but this is pixelation. Oh, now we're just darker. Darker, pixelated. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're still, yeah. we're still. Wait, wait a minute. Hard to tell. Let me go sideways. Yeah, no, it's, it's just dark. It's pixelated. still pixelated. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna. Uh, I'm sorry. There, okay. It's really, so it's really out of our hair. Hands. So, anybody, if anybody happens to know information about this, um. They will not, yeah, because it, it immediately went back to yellow. Yeah. They will not give us a new router. I'm curious, and for AT&T, will not give us a new router here. When I had to do it at my job, the person I called said that we can't do, um, we can't do the, we can't get a new router there. But he's like, but technically we can't provide you a new router I have no idea what the internet speed is. It's, we have a, oh, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not good at that stuff. So I don't know. I would yeah. have to look into information. Um, it's just the fact that our, our router box is so old, it doesn't work properly. And the dude at the, that I was talking to at the shop said, I can get a new router box for the shop and have it connected. So I'm wondering if I can do the same thing here, if I can just buy my own box. Oh, they sell them, yeah. And then connect it. But um, I'm nervous that, like, I don't want to lose it completely because then we have, we don't get any internet. Yeah, Nessa, I was going to say, I'm looking for you because you, yeah, you we do can't, tech, we can't use hotspot here, hotspots. We, we don't, can't use, we can't use I went and really. bought the laptop. I went and bought a beautiful laptop so I can do lives and stuff from the house. I can't use the hotspot from the phone to do lives at the house. Yeah, it runs out too quickly when you use it. And Nessa, basically. I know Nessa, you know a little bit about tech stuff. So you might be somebody that might know that information about if we bought a router. They, here, quick. Um, they won't ship it to us is what they're saying. They won't give the company it. will not give us a new router, but I'm terrified if we get a new router and you purchase one and have the same problem. Yeah, so yeah. we're either going to have the same problem or they're not going to let us have what the amount of gigabytes we get, which means that we basically no longer, like bye-bye everything. We would no longer be able to do this channel. We yeah. wouldn't be able to be part of the internet. If I lose that box here, we're gone. Yeah. So, Absolutely. and also then I would never be able to watch. I live 10 years without internet. I don't want to do that again. I'm tired of all the DVDs that I own. So yeah, yeah, no, it's it's sad, and and they had gotten a like good people in like deserts yeah. have better internet than us. Yeah, no, absolutely. We we literally where we are the time we've said this and for any of you that's heard this over and over, but literally the AT and T tower is right behind us, but it like goes over us for some reason, and there's one little strip that 
before it gets too far in. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going right now. AT and T is the only internet around here that works. That's yeah. That's the fastest tower. one. There's a chance that Verizon might be able to. So I might even see if she wants to try a Verizon router at her house. And okay. then if that works, we'll switch everybody, all the phones, all the internets over. Um, but that particular tower just goes right over us. So we're a small little street. And yes, the box. Sorry, I was trying to answer questions before we got too far. Um, the box did come from AT&T originally, but that was seven years ago when we moved here. And they won't update any of it for us. There's four satellites on top of this house. Um, yeah. They said it never worked right. I'm not trying to shoot down all of your ideas we've by been, any means. We've it's been just, fighting this for this a has long been, time uh, and, and looked at a lot of different things. And it's, yeah. It's just, we live in a really just a weird area and it's not worth it for them, the cost to put a wire down our road. Even though they run it for six miles where there's no yeah. houses down the main road. It makes no sense. Now we're going to be trying to fight that one, but hopefully... I'm just hoping that Verizon's going to work and then we can just switch everything over. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, it's sad because that's, this is our thing is internet and not being able to have the internet. Then we're gone. That that's, they won't. You know. Yeah. The reason they won't change the box out is because of the deal we have. Yeah. We have, I think it's like 300 megabytes, gigabytes, whatever of, of stuff to use. Yeah. But if that goes away, we're going to get like 20, which means we can watch like a movie a month. So we wouldn't be able to be on any of this. So yeah. we're, we're really hoping Verizon might work or we can figure something out with this box. But yeah, we're for fun it. time. It's, it's, it, you could pick up the like, tension because all of it's my, very... All of my business, tested. everything I need to do. Like I have lost hundreds and hundreds of dollars in orders and yeah. had to give people money back because we kept losing the internet. So I couldn't send my digital, my designs over to the, um, yeah. over to my Cricut to be able to cut it. Like it, like yeah. I've lost a lot of money since I've lived here because of these internet problems. Nessa, yeah, so that's how we feel. I mean, I haven't had the internet. I always ever use my phone. No, it, unfortunately, but, it's not a weather problem. This is a not. all day, every day. We go whole days without any internet or service all completely here all the time. So before she had a car, I'd be at work and knowing my mom's stranded. If something happens, she has to walk fuck yeah, a few miles right, down yeah, the road mile, yeah. and make a phone call if she can. Um, yeah, and, yeah, and no, I didn't have a car, so I, I would have to, yeah, it, it's, it's a very, it's a very yeah, emotional location issue being, and the company is being jerks about it. Absolutely. Necessary. Yeah. Yeah. They and apology for the this. attitude, but as you can tell, it's definitely no, something it's a that's very touchy subject we've been dealing with for a long time and it's very it took frustrating. Veronica, several years to get a better internet line there. Yeah. That's yeah. currently what we are. We literally are on four. I can see the internet. Yeah. I, I from right here. Yes. Through my, for, through. Well, you guys know my bedroom door because that's what was always behind us in the yeah. other angle. Through that door and through there, over the house, yeah. I can see 21. 5G internet is right there. Right I can there. literally see it. And on and my house, it to us. On my, and where I live, my house, you have the, the main road and then you turn and then you got my driveway. So the side of my property goes to the main road. And because my mailbox is on this particular that's side true. road, they won't, they, oh, we can't give it to you. But if my mailbox, if I put my driveway on the mail road, the main road, I can get it. They can get it. So yeah, yeah. as you could tell, it's, it's a tough, yeah. We're still, we're, yeah, thank you. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Put your good vibes out for Verizon to not be jerks. That would be sweet. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, 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 we're sorry about the, the ranting, but it is, it's a tough, it's a very touchy, emotional <laughs> thing. <laughs> I know. Don't forget our thummies. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's a shame because we wanted to show you stuff and you won't be able to uh, to see most of it. So, um, yeah. All right. Any hoot. Um, Let's get into happier things. Yes. Hello again, Marsha. So, yeah, let me talk to you about my brain game as well. I finally cleaned, which means that I got to open up two drawers yeah. that were stuck behind a chair for a little I don't have that big of a house, so it's thank you. You move one thing from one spot to another. Next thing you know, that whole dresser is no longer accessible until yeah. you move. It's a small house, and I have things. But I found one of my brain buster Mensa books. I love Mensa books. So she actually brought up a valid point. I didn't even consider this. Something that I do. Thank when you, I, Zoila. When I do, um, when I do brain games like this, is I don't actually write the answers down on them. Unless you physically have to. I was looking to see if I had them <laughs> to check. Um, I don't actually write the answers down on them. What I do is I just put a little check mark and I date it. Sometimes I um, 
write little notes about it. Sometimes, yeah, you're not gonna be able to even see the error. Sometimes I find errors. Yeah, so this way you could do the same puzzle over and over again. So this one here, if it's gonna be too blurry to see, I can, I'll be able to tell on her phone in a second. Oh, true, I could do this one and see. All right, so you can't really see it, but it's got um, boxes and it says, what, what should appear in the box with a question mark, but there is no question mark. There's no question mark. Wrong. In the pro <laughs> and it's got the different things for a uh, series. And it says, what, what, what should be the empty box with a question mark? Yeah, and you can There's tell no it's box clearly with a question mark. wrong. And then... This is the, a Mensa book. These people are supposed to be smart. Then the answer is G. Alphanumeric values of diag diagonal opposite letters always total 15. <laughs> Right. That had nothing to so do I'm with So I'm waiting the to find the puzzle that the answer is that. And I can be like, oh, that's the She's to found be that one. A typo, mm -hmm. massive error in a Mensa puzzle book. I think that's incredible. And then I was doing another puzzle. You know when they take a, a six-sided dice and they flatten it and then they give you options and you have to see which one it is? Right. I was staring at this puzzle and I was like, Craig, I'm sorry, I got to bother you again. I need you to look up this answer. I'm losing my mind because none of them work. And I, I just please just look it up and tell me what it says. Because if he's like, oh, it's got an answer here. I was going to, I got to figure out what I did wrong. The answer was there. It, none of them work. Yeah. So I was, so that was an answer. So you would have been sitting there out. forever. Yeah. That's unfair. But I do like, so somewhere in my stuff is a book, one of the old paperback thick books like this of just brain games, not by Mensa. I have puzzles I finished and wrote notes on from like 1999. So like little Amanda, because I wasn't rusty back then, little Amanda solving her puzzles and writing little notes on it with the dates. So yeah, I didn't, but then they brought up the fact that it's interesting that I do this and have always done this because I also do that kind of concept with, with cards. cards. Like when I give you a card, I'll put, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's just a joke Mensa book, but uh, I'll put, I mean, it's right. It's, yeah, it's Mensa, it's Mensa quizzes made by another company. So they just yeah. like, stole Mensa quizzes. Clearly. And one of them got cropped wrong. But I also do that with cards where I'll put like a post-it in it instead of writing in the card. So you can either keep the card forever or if you wanted to, you can remove my post to keep my note and then pay the card forward and right. send it to somebody else. Recyclable things. It's yes. just keeping things nice. I think that's genius. And hello to anybody coming in. We apologize for the pixelations. We're pixelated. Uh -huh. If any of you seen, oh my gosh, what is the movie where uh, Gary Cooper, he ends up winning all that money from a relative and they try to deem him crazy. And the two little ladies, she calls every, they call everybody pixelated. You're pixelated. That was like really random information. And if you get that one, you, you get some, yeah, that's kudos. Well, I wanted to show you the thing that uh, the, I, I, all right, I, I, tripled. I mean, you could show it, it'll be a little blurry, but you could tell the it's story. It's going to be blurry, blurry. There's still a story. Yeah. All right. So you, most of y'all know that I don't follow patterns. I don't know how to read patterns. I really do not do well with uh, even um, tutorials. Hence why. I often just make stuff myself because oh, real quick. Yeah. Well, hello, first timer. Normally we're not so pixelated. Hi, Christy. So I apologize for that. Um, just so you get a heads up. We're just having a, um, we're just having an internet uh -huh. issue. Cruelty. It's like watching us through tears. <laughs> oh. I know we, yes, we want to cry, but yeah, we're sorry for the pixelation. Yeah. TCM. Yeah, we're going to be, show. so basically we're, a. Uh, Sometimes Yarny Channel, some like we'll play some games today where you can win tickets, and th those tickets either go to win a gift at some point for me or end yeah. of the month. We do on our end of the month live, we always do a big giveaway. Monthly giveaway. We have a month member monthly giveaway. We have a wonderful family here. So give, hop we... in the chat, enjoy, yeah. and um, yeah. Just say Welcome hi, to everybody. Us. All right, Christy, it was wonderful. And I went. Yeah, so what, what I did was, um, and anybody else who's new here as well, we're trying, we, we, don't spend a lot of time talking to everybody in the chat because it takes so much time. And so, she can't read it. and I can't read it. My eyes are just getting worse and worse every day. So uh, it's a blanket. Hello. Just like Jessica. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what I did was, um, Jax, our creations by Jax, my sunshine. 
uh, is she's been doing the hashtag hug for you, hug for me, which I did do one. I finished one uh, show all with that and I never finished the other show. Thank you, Tracy. Um, and then she also this month because, well, she didn't do it because of, but it worked out timing wise. Thank you, Yolanda. You're a doll. Um, is. I think it's called month the month of bod 2024 where you've got to use a bod pattern or tutorial. Okay. So bod had put out the virus shawl meets the post-its or something. I I I apologize. Yeah, thank you Zoila. Zoila dropped Jaxie's channel. Please go check her out if you are not already subscribed to her. Definitely check her out. And you guys could write drop to drop your channels and pick each other other up. Um, so I decided, because Dee had made the virus shawl, she says, it's really not that hard. It's a four row repeat, uh, blah, blah, blah. And all you need is single crochet and double crochet. So I grabbed uh, a couple days ago, I went on Bod's channel, got the virus post uh, shawl. Is it okay to keep saying that? Is that word okay to use? Virus? Yeah. It's a virus show, yeah, yeah. Well, I know for a little bit you couldn't use that because of... No, you could say that. You couldn't say the, the corona pink. around the... Oh, okay. Yeah, the corona around the or oh, moon, okay. which you could say that now. But anyway, so this shawl is from Bod's tutorial, but I was struggling with trying to remember because I kept thinking it was three rows, so I was forgetting a row and then keep going and then things weren't working and I had to frog it out. So it really took me longer than it should have. But I made it out of, I just had, oh, the Premier, I know you can't see it, but it's a Premier Anti-Pilling DK. I believe these are, are discontinued. It's a three-weight yarn, 100% um, acrylic. And this colorway, it's called uh, Moss. Does that say Moss? Small print right there. Yep, Moss. So it's it looks camouflage, if you can't tell. All right, but I did, cool. I made, I did the virus shawl. What I did was I just eliminated the post part of Bod's um, virus post shawl. So I hope it still qualifies for the Bod 2024. And then the Pico, I finished yesterday morning. I did the Picos on the bottom, but I also put a Pico not only just on the bottom of the scallop, I put a pico in the upper part of the scallop. So I did, I made a virus shawl. I'm really super proud of myself and excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, unfortunately, and this yarn is so soft. I hope it isn't discontinued because it is really um, a beautiful yarn. But I did a virus shawl. So I'm proud of myself. And this will. I made it and it's going, I'm, I'm also in the process. I have a little extra left. I'm going to make a, a slouchy hat to go with the poncho. And I'm thinking I might put this up for auction for our mental health and meow auction that we're going to have in May. Yes. Thank you, Gwen. I, I am proud of myself. I and I know I've mentioned it before, but just to touch on it again, um, for the, we're, we're going to be on a time crunch. So we for the, auction. for the auction. So we're going to have to do bigger, I ticketed items. We're not going to have time to do a lot of little ones. So yeah, we figure we'll work with you. Um, if somebody has smaller stuff, if we can either group it with some other people's stuff or potentially if they want to donate it for other, other things for like giveaway giveaways and whatnot. Right. But we, we will, we are to say like apologizing in advance that we have to make sure we have things that we could try. Yeah. To get Cause we're going to have to do the whole auction. We're going to do the auction. We're not going to take a separate day. Um, we're just going to do the auction during our live. So that's going to give us a time slot of two hours. So I, we, we're going to have to be selective as to what items we're going to present for auction during those two hours and whatever we can get done at that time. So we just figured, you know, the, the, the bigger, the better. I know it sounds kind of tacky maybe, but you know, you know, where we're coming from. We're trying to raise money for the animals. So, um, so it's hard to a little more select justify time. spending time in here for something that's going to be like two, three, four, five, six. Months, right, you know exactly. I mean? yeah, yeah. So, because you guys all know how chaotic you want some get. yarn from us, Kathy Baker. Yeah, 
I forget. I don't write. I don't write. I don't keep the paperwork. Like when you guys win things and whatnot, I don't have any of the paperwork and I, my memory is really bad. So um, you guys probably, you know, like, oh, I won this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, did you? Did I send you? Sometimes I'll mail something out and in the few days that it takes to get to you guys, there people are opening it on their channel. I'm like, what did I send them? Like I'm watching it like, oh, oh, that's cool. I said that. That's nice. I completely forget. <laughs> You know, and you guys all know that my brain is a sieve. If I ever, if I forgotten, if if I ever forget anything, it's definitely not intentional. It is, it is a. It, I do have brain damage. Okay, traumatic brain injuries. I have a bad, bad memory. So um, it's legit. You know, the struggle is real. All right. So want to play some games? Want to play a game? Yes. So anybody that hasn't played this before, what we do um, is we're going to have, like, I'm going to start out, I have a tree, is going to be the first one we're going to do, don't write anything yet. Um, and I have something written down already. And then when Mama G writes, puts start, everybody's going to write a tree down and whoever gets it first gets to... Um, gets a get entry. Yes. Are you going to do ours or yours? Hey, you know what? Let's do one for each for this first one. As okay. I'm sorry for how blurry we've been. Yeah, so you're going to get one each with this you're one. Get a blurry discount. If you do get, if you're the first one to guess the answer to the to what she's saying, you got to put emojis with. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, then you'll get an entry in both the monthly giveaway. And also an entry in the random rusty rewards giveaway. So how's that? So you get two. You know what? Can we just do it for all of them, or am I overstep my bounds now that I said okay. that we have to? Yeah, we'll do that because of the blurriness. Thank you, Zoila. Yeah, since my mine weren't working. Okay, so tree. Everybody type a tree in. And type the first some, one some to get type it. of tree. And and if you type something and we didn't see it, type a different word. Do you think you can work out? Oh, what? I've never. I was gonna say I could start telling facts, but I can't tell facts until somebody. Okay, gets no, it. I, I got you. Yeah. So never mind. I got it here. Oh, who got it? Joe Speakman. Joe Speakman. Good job, Joe. Congratulations, and Joe, you get each. You get tickets. I'm gonna write it on the back of there. You could just write on the back, and then we can fill my. I'm gonna write back. it on the back of here because it's one. We're gonna do both for both. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. Joe Speakman. So birch trees are to sit. I'm probably saying that wrong as I said it. Um, that means they shed their leaves, they're shedding their leaves annual. Anybody that doesn't already know this, which you probably do, as I get into more um unique ones, we're gonna learn some some more fun things. But they have very distinctive bark. It's usually ranges from like a snowy white to uh, like a silvery gray color. And a lot of they peel interesting and thin, and a lot of them peel and curl and whatnot, which adds to their oh, beautiful. Oh, that's a birch tree, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, they're found across the northern hemisphere. So that is North America, Europe, Asia. Um, and they've always have a symbol. They symbolize renewal and um, renewal and purity. Uh, they also, they support a diverse wildlife. So there's a lot of aspects about having the, the way that it grows. It's good for people to, uh, it's good for critters to be able to live in. The, it, oh, okay. Yeah. It, just, yeah. it ha helps the wildlife. And because of their timeless beauty, they have have inspired artists, poets, storytellers, and more throughout the ages. Super. And is yes, that where you get birch is. beer from? Birch yeah. Root? Birch beer, right? Birch I, I don't like it. I, I tried I, it once. When I was a kid, I tried it. It was I gross. It. it was mm -hmm. gross. Birch and ginger. Are right, you know favorites. what? We're going to interrupt the game for one hot second and pull the replay giveaway winner from last week's comment so when you come back and you make a comment um on the live videos you every time you do that you get entered to get five entries into the monthly giveaway so i know it's blurry you probably are not able to read it all right i'm going to read the names there's only 19 okay i just want to call this put this aside and use the back all right, Oodles of Vicky, Oodle Vicky, Michelle Metzig, Karen JSP, Sally Stevens, Paula Mint, Dawn and Halla, excuse my throat, um, Denise Lee, Moonlight Tracy, Zoila, Carrie J, Pam Starr, Sharon Sutcliffe, Mama Gwen, Denise Hoffman, Angela Wright, 
Je Jen's Hobby Nook, Crafty Nisi, Beverly Fowler, and um, Butterfly Crafts. Oh, thank you, Margaret, for that. We appreciate that so much. All right, those are people that have uh, wrote something in the replay of last week's live. So you guys remember, come back and do it because you get a you get a chance to get five tickets, five entries into the the monthly giveaway. All right, so that's 19. nineteen. There's nineteen entries. Here's so a screen you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> hopefully, oh no, actually, oh, you actually can't it's see clear numbers. enough to see it yet. Number three. Number three, Number three is the third name I mentioned was Karen JSP, and she was here before. Don't know if you made it here. So, Karen, I hope you made it back here at this one, but I'm going to circle your name. You get five entries into, um, into the monthly giveaway, Karen. Awesome. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Okay, I just wanted to do that quick because on the back of that piece of paper is where I'm writing all the winners' names for this. And we will also have actual physical prizes during some of our, our, our lives. It's just, you know. We were planning on doing it for this live, yeah, but we, we, didn't, we didn't. I, I, I messed, messed up, messed man. Up. I wasn't feeling well this morning. So you're lucky I'm here. Or maybe you're not, whatever. I don't know. I'm here. That's all. Okay, okay, next next fact. The my, next category next category is, is backyard wildlife. Ooh, okay. Not including birds because they're gonna be their own category. So this is like basically what you could see, or even just put like like uppercase X's or something, because the word start gets so lost in there. But it's hard to do a motive oh, on that. I just, oh. Um, oh Zoila. All right, Zoila, go Zoyla ahead. Zoila got the thing in. We'll we'll allow squirrel, but yeah, go ahead. And because that's not the answer anyway. Um but yeah, just things you basically things Mama G could end up. I might find it in my backyard yes. that we're looking for. All right, something I might find oh. in my backyard. We got Hell's Crochet Corner with Fox. Oh, Kel, good Ooh. job. And just a reminder, we're going by what's on our screen for first. Yes. Because I know sometimes they appear different for people. Hell's Crochet Corner, okay. congratulations. And, and just to let you know that, uh, yes, we get Fox that actually come right to our house and bark. They sound like little kids with croup. So you get you get an you get an entry into both. Now everybody that wins today gets you get a ticket for my bucket and five yeah. for the end of the month bucket. Yeah. So a group of fox is called a leash, a skulk, or an earth. Oh. Baby foxes could be called cubs, kits, or pups. Okay. I've heard that. Um, they can be found living in all continents apart from Antarctica. Did not know that. And in my yard. A flying fox is not a fox. I definitely put a note to look up what a flying fox was before I did live and we didn't. She came over earlier than normal. I did. We I did a member's video early. that'll come up at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they can make about 40 different sounds. Yeah. Uh, Kel said that she heard it. Yeah. It's, uh, they, they, the bark of a fox is a very unique sound. Um, like, again, we live in the is woods. Yeah, that makes sense, Alley Cat. Yeah, yep. it does make sense. Um, we live in a you know in the woods, so we get owls and and we hear coyote, we hear wolves, we hear you know a lot of a lot of. I had a black bear on my back porch last summer, so um, you know we get that here. So we there are foxes, and they like to come at our house because we have the cats, and the foxes will be right outside the window. But it's like this croupy. Like you ever heard a, a little kid that has the, the croupy cough, you know, that really congested, sad, you know, when they're really feeling sick. That's what they sound like. It's really unique. Like if you hear it and you know it's a fox, next time you hear it, you know it's a fox. You know, it's a very unique sound. But yeah, congratulations yeah. to Kel's Crochet Corner. And that's corner. just one of the 40 sounds they can make. And I, yeah, I, I probably heard other sounds and didn't know it was a fox. Because mm -hmm. I do hear sounds. I'm like, what the heck is that? You know, and I didn't know that. So now I learned. I'll have to listen to like a video of all the different sounds and see because I do hear weird sounds and I never know what they I are. I listen to a lot of videos. Like I've often been like, okay, now we got to try to find like what was that making noise? Yeah. Actually, absolutely. All right. So hold on one second, Zoila. You're going to do the next ad. ad. What were you? What we oh, doing? okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to get ready for our next one, which is going to be Marine Life. Okay. We're on it. Yep. With that, Zoila. Perfect timing. Perfect. Marine sense. Life. I will say I'm not doing deep sea, all right, because Marine, that's a whole nother subset which we might switch back and forth. Yeah, not the armed services, marine as in water. Oh, look at them! Look at them go! All right, I, I should look and see. Oh, what, I already got it. Done yeah, oh, 
King. Woo woo, Rachel King with octopus. Rachel King got it. All right, Rachel. So um, I did a couple quick facts and then I have a little octopus story to tell you. Um, so there's over 250 species. They have three hearts and awesome. you can find freshwater octopus in North American rivers. Really? Yes. Ooh. Um, some can dive to I depths of more than 10,000 feet deep. And the term comes from the word octopos from Greek, which means eight foot. Oh. Um, so I can't, I didn't look this up beforehand, so I can't tell you where this was. Oh, add. Oh, you just crocheted an octopus? Yeah, no, that's one of the popular things that people crochet. We're in an ad, um, so. Oh yeah, ads and refresh. And nine brains. Um, nine brains. That's crazy. So there was a aquarium that had an issue of fish dis disappearing and they couldn't figure out what was going on. They finally did. The octopus learned the nightly security guards walk times and crazy. then was letting himself out of his locked whatever, I don't know if it was locked or not, but letting himself out of his enclosure, going, finding, consuming random fish because he was just had free dinners all over the place and then was getting back into his tank before the night staff would walk by again. So they didn't know what was going on. Another fun story, this regular person had one that was in, yeah, they're so sneaky, had one right? that was just like in his house, like his pet. And he had this for years and years. And always fed him. And one time he feeds him these little shrimpy things and goes and sits at his desk. And then next thing you know, a shrimp is thrown from the ground right next to him onto his paperwork That's because crazy. they were stale and he didn't like it. And then it just went right back to its tank and went in its tank and ate some of the other ones that weren't stale. Oh so my gosh. Entire, he could get out of his right? tank and the owner didn't even know. So he would be getting out. It and was doing his thing. Okay. I thought so. I just didn't want to yeah. say it because I wasn't sure. But yeah, how crazy. Octopuses are, uh, yes. well, octopi, is that the, how you I say one? I octopi, say. is that one? And is octopus is more than one? I think it's octopus. Is or one or would many. it be octopuses? Is that how you would say? That one, that one doesn't seem right. Sounds very weird. It makes me sound like, that sounds like a James Bond movie. But right? yeah, they are so really cool. cool. Really crazy. And, and I know a lot, yeah, like Tina, I think it was Tina said you just crocheted one. Yeah, they are really cool to crochet as well. Oh, both pearls? Octopi, okay. Octopus cool. is both. It's like deer. It could be one or many. Hi, Zach. And I feel like going to work today. You are always working, dude. I swear. Plural. Oh, see, I got the heart in the way for Jason's. Oh, plurals don't apply nowadays. I know yeah, a lot of right? things were just yeah. And then, and, then, and then we say they for a plural. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, the English language is always evolving like everything else. They has been acceptable as a singular term since the Forever. history of its term. Being Existence. Singular. Yeah. Yes. They is plural and singular. Okay. So exactly. if you don't remember, I did say one of the sections was going to, one of the sections was going to not include words. Well, this time. So, Zoila, if you want to drop us some. Uh, oh, okay. We got another, another category. How you doing? And you did, you started as a virus shawl. Melissa, it's really easy. I'm 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 so excited. I did it. I'm really so proud of myself. I just kept forgetting that it was four row repeat, not three row, and I kept so birds. It up. Right types birds. of birds. Types of birds. And what my is chat's not working. Can you wanna I, I is that the bird? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I this bird I had in my backyard. I literally have in my backyard. I see him in the morning. Oh good. I was able to go back enough. Keep going, folks. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these in my backyard, but this one, this one comes quite a bit. Stops. I'm so I'm shocked that that's I'm shocked. Yeah, tie dye. We see Janet Dixon. Janet got it. Woodpecker. Good job. Yeah, I have a um redheaded, a larger redheaded woodpecker. Janet Dixon, you got it. So I love them. They're really cool critters. Um, they don't get headaches. I'm not sure how this website that was very accurate about how things, you know that? how they learned that. Well, they like banging, banging. They usually prefer dead trees, which makes sense. Um, a group of them is called a 
a descent or descent. Descent, yeah. Um, their long tongues actually wrap up around their skull, which is part of the reason, like, acts as, like, cushion for their banging. But they also probably, their long tongue can it's go also into, get into that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Some of them can actually hear the sounds of insects crawling and chewing in the tree. Oh. So they listen and then they bang. So they'll hop around listening. And their stiff tail feathers is actually what acts as a tripod. So their two feet can grab on and then their tail feathers stay stiff against the tree, which is how they can hop up. Okay, I see them hopping up. It's mm -hmm. so cool to so watch them. The tail feathers yeah. are actually like holding them there. Because I, I have one that there's at least one in my yard. Well, she used to have one that was a, a, a resident of this yard. That's cool. Yeah, no, I, he's still around. He goes back into the way back a little bit more now. But um, this tree that I have has some dead spots on it. So that little bu my little buddy comes around, like oh, looks down cool. at me when I'm in the yard. Look, you're gonna, I'm gonna yeah, but he used to be right outside here and we'd go in and out the door and he would just be like, hey, how you doing, you know? Yeah, I love all the critters. Any yeah. any living things I want to live in my land, get to live yep. in my land. And when I can, I give them treats. Yeah, we feed. We feed all the deer and all that in our yard. And I woke up yesterday morning, and I, if you know, my my bedroom is in a 25 by 25. It's a great room with French doors that go out onto the back porch and in my yard. And when, they, when I wake all. up and I, I look out the window, I look in out the French door so I could see right out. And um, there was all, two of the deer um, were out there first thing in the morning. So when I opened my eyes, the first thing I saw was these two deer out there eating my plants. Which I, I plant the plants for them to eat, so it's not a problem. All right. All right. So I have one more that I actually have um, information about. Because I, like I said, we're going to do these few sections that I'll, I'll research and have information about. And then um, we might just have some random ones just to add because the game is fun. Yeah, because it's fun and we got some time. So Excuse this me. next one coming up is going to be insects. Oh, so as right. soon as we see X's, Zoyle is going to put some insects. Oh, in there they are. <laughs> Zoyle is going to put some insects. Sorry. I, I yeah. All right. We got bees. Trevor. Hi, Trevor. That's funny. That's what I almost picked. But I would have thought you would have. Uh, that's a good guess oh, for you. Did we get a double Janet Dixon here? Hold on. I think we do. My phone just skipped. I Let didn't make see sure. What... Oh, okay. I, I yep. Got... Janet Dixon wins again with ladybugs. Oh, gosh. Good job. Walking sticks are so cool. Oh, I love them. Janet, that's awesome because then now you've got, uh, you have two entries in each of the uh, things. That's cool. And that, that you had it was ladybugs. Mm -hmm. I have those fake ladybugs in my house and we get them here too, but I get them really bad in my house. And you guys told me and, and educated me they're called Asian beetles. And I believe uh, Lisa Ladybird loves that in. Europe, I, I I don't know if this is true, that it's, um they're called ladybirds. Oh, Marie's got a comment. I'm checking to see if someone said it first. Oh, somebody might have said it beforehand. Yeah, no, I definitely see Janet's first because I can still see J the X's. Yeah, on, on our end, I mean, you won't be able to see it if I show the screen, but on our end, it does have Janet Dixon's beforehand. Beforehand, who was afterwards? Oh, Nancy, where I'm, Luna, I'm Luna, the naughty stitch. Yeah, it's so weird how it shows up different. Okay, I guess well, our our internet lags, so it's gonna our chats. No, that's lag. it's not that. That's not why the chats are different. There's I forget what it is. There's oh. something that happens that makes certain people's chats come up different, and I'm not. I can't remember what. I went way too high here. Oh, there we go. Bees. I'm just looking at my phone. She's got her phone. I'm looking at my phone. And then on our, our laptop. Yeah, I have Janet. And then it's Mosquito, Daddy Long Legs, Grasshopper, Dragonfly, Mosquito, Bee, Ladybug from Luna Naughty. But you, yeah, the, 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 you're definitely ahead. But that's, yeah. Well, we're going to do a lot of these So not all of them are black or red. There's some yellow and black, but there mm -hmm. is ladybugs that come in basically every color. So they there's all well, not every color, but all sorts of different types of ladybugs. Um, they're more accurately called lady beetles or lady bird beetles. Oh, there you go. That's they were first discovered in 1853 in Colorado. Really? And some of them actually have a stripe pattern. 
huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now here's one. I'm not. We're, this is just a fun guessing game. Guess no, no tickets or anything. Guess how many miles they can fly. So not all of them, but how many miles? miles? I wouldn't even think they could do a mile. Mm -hmm. Straight without a rest. Oh it's my insane. gosh! How many miles can a ladybug fly without a rest? So stay in flight. No, that can't be so. Look what you guys are guessing. Wow. Yeah, because we yeah. know we're over the top. 3,000. Can you? I mean, they're little. They're teeny tiny little things. I wouldn't even say. So think some of you, I love how some of you are way over and yeah, some of you are under. Like, I wouldn't even have said, if I, if yeah. I guess, I would have been. At, 60 is close. It's at, they're around 70, 75 miles. That's, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so tiny. A mile's a long way. But it's also just like, that's like what they're. Um, 1967. <laughs> um, yeah, but isn't that crazy? That's 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 crazy. And I did I didn't I forgot you were doing to say facts when I jumped in on the ladybug, ladybird, um, the different name for because because uh, Lisa Ladybird loves and if you haven't that's seen her, make it yes, yeah, go check check her channel out. But um, yeah, because where she is in in uh, UK, they call them lady birds. And then those little fake ones that we have in our houses, those are Asian beetles. Yeah. So I didn't know that. Getting into beetles, there's so many. So I'm not with the insects. I'm going to keep them more basic like this. But at some point, I'm going to start. There's I got deep dived into the world of beetles. All right. So basically what you're because uh, I'm asking this because I don't know what she what's going on in her head sometimes. So and vice versa. So you're going to keep those topics and then next week you're going to come up with different answers with, okay. So when it comes to specifically, specifically for the, it's going to be a tree, a backyard wildlife, not including a bird, marine, bird, insect. And then we might have just like some other ones that are just. Uh, okay. So that's why we're saying if you are bored out of your mind and are looking for something to do, you may want to learn, you know, look up some, some of these things to write down for the, on those categories, yes. because she'll have some information about them, but I, you said they're going to get harder and harder. No, I'm just, I'm just going to, cause it, I, I'm going to want to learn about more and more. more. Yeah. Uh, interesting ones. So we're just going to, I'm just going to get to more interesting concepts. Hell, that's interesting that those, yeah, though I know uh, Joe from uh, Garden State Gardener about that for the, for the, um, some of them are good. And then the, I think the ones that I have in my house are not good ladybugs. I think they, they uh, kill my plants. Yeah, there's a lot of insects. That's, that's good information too. What insects are good for plants and what, what incense are for gardens and what aren't. Yes. Cool. That was fun. Yeah. And all right, so that we did, uh, we've got Karen JSP was the five entries. So she's getting five entries for the replay giveaway from posting in our live replay. And then Joe Speakman, Kells Crochet Corner, Rachel King, Janet Dixon, and again, Janet Dixon. Uh, each of those people get uh, entry into the monthly giveaway and also an entry into the random rusty rewards, which is a complete mystery to even to her of what it's going to be. <laughs> no, I'm just so like, oh, this is cool. I might put this in that box. And then okay, when I have we, a cool enough box, we'll pick a winner. Then we'll pick a winner. Exactly. Okay. So is it correct that the brown ones are the invasive species that also bite? Oh my God, Kel, they do bite. I I swear that I have been afraid to say anything to anyone that I had a ladybug climbing on me and I, I said, oh my God, that thing bit me. And I'm like, there's no way that actually happened. So they do bite. I felt one one time. I forgot where it was on my skin, but it it, it, get a, it gave me a pinch. I got bit by a praying mantis too, I think, when I was a kid. Yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Thank you for the thanks. But I, I, I too, am enjoying looking into this. Um, Morgan's going to help um, look into some stuff, too, bit. so we can get yeah. other inputs. No, we, 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 we like this. You know, yarn is great, uh, but this is good brain brain stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 Kel, I, I never, I swear, I never said anything to anybody because I said people are going to think I'm out of my mind. That what do you mean a ladybug bit you? You know, I was like too embarrassed to even say anything, and I just never thought to look it up on my own. So I just 
like, it's like those tiny little gnats I would get that don't bite everybody else, but they always bite me. Oh, in the God. backyard, and I, I have to like Jesus. this is. I'll yeah. be in the backyard doing this because if I'm not in constant motion, they're biting my legs. They attack and mosquitoes attack you. And I get mosquito bites like that. Yeah. Here's my girl. Whoa. Yeah, she we could sit sit because we sit in the backyard. She's got a, a fire pit and we sit around and burn the fire, you know. So we hang out in the backyard quite a bit. And uh we could all be sitting there and I get I get bit by mosquitoes, but if she's around, she's like the best repellent for anybody else because they all go and attack her. Right, Jason knows. Jason's been in our backyard. I'm always getting bit back there. Right, if if a Rusty's around, man, you don't get bit because they're on her. I mean, I do use different types of sprays and stuff now, but I can't. I also can't use DEET. So uh... gnats can kill chickens. They clog their nose. Crafty Nisi. Wow. That is so, I mean, I love this because you're bringing up information and you guys, I mean, I'm, I'm learning. I love this so much to be hearing and reading this. And like, I can't wait to come back and catch the things that I miss. Man, if garlic in my diet helps, then I don't oh, know what would be I like if it. I didn't eat as much garlic as I do right now. Yolanda, I eat so much garlic. It repels my, house, but the man that lives in my house. Jessica, were you here when you heard that you won the uh, replay giveaway? Just making sure because I didn't see a comment. You won the replay giveaway, so you you get uh, five entries into the monthly giveaway. Yeah, you say that's a Dr. Rusty. You don't get the bites. Yeah, no, actually, she is. It is nuts, though. But I was eating the garlic and the onions a lot because, you know, I have an eating problem and certain things, whatever. But the man that lives in my house, he was like, I can't even turn and face you. You smell so bad. <laughs> yeah. You need to, like, you I'm not chill trying to tell out. you what to do Yeah, with he's like, I can't <laughs> deal with it. He goes, it is, he goes, I'm laying in bed and I'd be sound asleep. Mouthwash? Turn in my bed and just smell onion and garlic. Ooh, I'm going to write that down so I don't forget that. All right. So spray mouthwash, preferably Listerine, to repel mosquitoes and other bugs. Naked snail. That's, that's I will cool. bathe in it if it makes bugs. Yeah. <laughs> we'll buy gallon jugs. Get ready for a minty rusty. Because we used to try that. Yeah. The Avon's, uh, whatever that smell was for Avon, we tried that. That did help. That one helped. And you had something else that we used to make that helped. I do the lemongrass. Um, it was lemongrass. Citronella. Citronella. I put two other things. Eucalyptus yeah. and Eucalyptus something else. And I think peppermint. I think it was peppermint. Well, peppermint I, I was doing, but then when I was using it a little bit on the dog legs, when they were getting bit bad, I stopped oh, using peppermint. Oh, peppermint. Okay, yeah, that's not good for the ant, the dogs. Yeah, since skin so soft. That's right, Tina. Skin so soft. That was always good. And it did work. I was an Avon uh, salesperson for a very short time, just to get all the free stuff in the Coca -Cola beginning. Coca-Cola was also originally a cleaner, not specifically for floors. Yeah. Oh, still is a cleaner. I don't drink that. Nuh-uh. I could be really thirsty and I won't drink a Coca-Cola unless I really have to. It takes the rust off your car, man. And rosemary, Jessica. Yeah, I love rosemary. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, we grew a bunch I, of rosemary. And there's something that you'll learn if you're ever in my house. There could be plants drying, hanging anywhere. Yeah. I all of my craft room. One time she came in the kitchen, just had plants going it. But we did we did rosemary and I spread clothes apart and just hung them on hangers and had them hanging from that. So for like a month, all of our clothes smelled so good. Yeah, like oh, yeah. right now I still have a few bundles of sage up there hanging in the craft room. Oh, so you put a uh, quil quilty. That's that's a here's another thought. Spray the listerine. On your on your brushes, so when you're brushing your hair, that's also going to be because you're moving your hair around. That would work, but um, you don't brush your hair. I don't brush my hair. <laughs> she doesn't brush her hair, but you could spr spritz it on your head. No, yeah, I could spritz it on other things. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I very rarely that's brush my cool. hair. It, my curls fall yeah. out if I do, and um, yeah, just fun. I brush my. I like to maintain looking like a sea witch that just crawled out of the bog. Right. Oh, naturally. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Rosemary. I like basil. Ugh, I can't eat basil. Basil and oregano. Isn't that weird? Well, don't you have the, um, um, what's search of the sea? Why can't I think of the name right now? Some people taste like soap. I have citronella in my head, so it's. Oh, what? Cilantro. cilantro. Wow. In unison. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. Um, yeah, so that you you have the cilantro gene. So I'm I always wondered if that yeah, is cilantro, why Rachel, you yeah. also don't like some of those other flavors. I feel bad for anybody. You that know had that this? 
give this information. This is something cool so, you may or may not know. People, when people fight over liking and not liking cilantro, it's often because you're tasting two completely different things. This some people so have a gene that actually, I don't know if it's technically a gene, but some people have something that makes it taste like soap to them. So I'm sorry it to does. all of you that it, taste the soap. It tastes disgusting. Some people taste this refreshing, just delightful, almost. Probably like parsley. Like parsley like to me is very good. parsley. Okay, almost. yeah. Like it, I can't even describe Lemon the flavor, but something. it is delicious. Yeah, no. Uh, citronella, basil, and oregano. I will, I, I, if you give me like a jar of ragu and it has like basil or oregano in it, it will make me like want to be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica, it, it, it's weird, but what it is, and that's it, Jessica, it is actually a gene or typed in your DNA. Allegedly. I don't know what, what, how it okay. works, but somehow in us. Oh, so, so you love basil and oregano, but not cilantro. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe so maybe you just also don't like basil. Maybe I don't like basil. Avocado tastes like soap to you? Oh, that's sad. I love avocados. Do you know what tastes like soap to me? Soap? Soap. Yeah. Soap. It makes, it makes sense. <laughs> I think it probably tastes like that to all of us. That's crazy. So where are we on time? We're at 5.30, so we've got a half an hour. Hello, Flower Tammy. Um, we have an hour, or a half an hour. Oh, Mary, Jer, Mary I never could say that. I was going to say Mary Juana. Uh, Mary, do you wanna? Um, which is similar to oregano. Yeah, that, for some reason, that my mom used to use once in a while, and that wasn't too bad. Oh, blue cheese tastes like soap to you? That's sad. I literally had a blue cheese. I tried to eat a blue cheese sandwich last night. This is going to gross you guys out. It whole grain bread. So I don't like to use white bread. I sprinkled sea salt, big chunks of sea salt on it, and then squirted on half of it blue cheese dressing, folded it, and that is what I tried to eat yet last night. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Kel, I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't do. Um, I have to. It, it's an eating problem. I got an eating disorder. Well, that's so. why I say. If it, I don't care yeah. how gross it is or yeah. bad for you, if you can swallow if it, I get it, it then down it, my throat. If it costs seventy dollars for a sandwich, for a yeah, a spoonful, and that I don't I care it. if you can. Yeah. yeah, it's a swallowing issue. I so. oh, tried the, the 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 tried. I did eventually finish it, Sally. For any of you that don't know, it, it's no big deal. It, I've had it all my life. Um, I, the process of swallowing is a problem for me, even with my own saliva. All right. So, um, I very often when it's, when it's really tough, I don't eat for days. I live on, there's, I live on choking down, um, supplement drinks like insurers. So anything that I can eat is like what Rusty just said, you know, yeah, I, I just go for it. Is. I don't care what it is. I need to get something in my stomach. Paula, I know you're saying you've never tried it in, on a sandwich, but if you ever get an opportunity and you do burgers. Oh my gosh. On a burger, cheese on a burger. Like the right, like smoky sauce with it or mm. horseradish, smoky horseradish sauce. Oh. Yeah, Kel, it doesn't, the swallowing part doesn't hurt. It's, um, it, it's from a kid from when I was a child. It's very tight. and oftentimes it feels like that little flap that goes from breathing to, to swallowing and that's in your esophagus. Um, it feels like when I'm going to swallow, it feels like it's going to go in my windpipe. So it's a psychological thing. And yeah, cheesecake. I lived on cheesecake, amaretta cheesecake. There's a video that I didn't drop yet. It's coming out that I talk about that, about the amaretta cheesecake. There was a time in my life that all I could eat was amaretto cheesecake, and it changes. Like now, I'm I'm on a rice. Um, I eat rice, and I eat with a lot of spice. And you're right about the black bean. It's right. not spicy. Okay, yeah, no, it's not. Okay, the black bean. <laughs> I know it's not spicy. Yeah, no, I know, and I'm telling her. Okay, right. so we were talking about the black bean um, sauce, which is flipping sauce. amazing and delicious. Okay. Oh, hummus. We just had hummus for lunch, Tina. Yeah. And I was saying, well, it has a kick to it, has a bite to it. What I forgot that I did was I added, 
I added ginger. Oh yeah, ginger will definitely add a bite. I to added that. Ginger, ginger to it. Spicy. I added I ginger, it. so that's what that bite and kick was. Was yeah, the ginger. I was like, it's not. Yeah, it's strong because I put it on. Yeah, if you watch our last ginger. live, we have a whole thing. I'm like, people are like, it's spicy. I was like, no, it's not spicy. She's I'm, giving you the wrong. I'm going. Well, it's got a bite. It's got a kick, and then it dawned on me when I just made something the rice. Spicy. I put it on my rice yesterday, and I'm like, oh, this isn't spicy. And then it dawned on me that I had add ginger, ginger root. Which is incredibly spicy. Yeah, premium protein drinks. That's that's it. They're yeah. And I can't afford to buy the good ones. So I buy on Amazon the cheap, horrible drinks. But I do have uh perithyroidism, whatever it's called, and they found a lot of uh nodes in my um, lymph nodes, a lot of, a lot of bumps and nodules in my lymph nodes. That's where I'm going to test it on Thursday, on Tuesday. So I'm excited about the parathyroidism thing because they, they go into your, uh, they, they if you, if this is skeevy, just, it's not, it's an outpatient procedure, but they come in through the front, go pull the thyroid, which is the butterfly that flaps around your throat and take any of the, there's four parathyroids in the back and they'll take out parts of or complete ones of ones that are defected or have gross on them and then remove those. And yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable for a little bit, but those generate calcium and balance the, 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 the PTH, which is the parathyroid hormone and balances those, that, that those balance, those levels in your body. So what's happening is I, um, a lot of women, this is very common. So I'm going to say this to you as a, a public service announcement. If you have a high calcium level in your urine on a urine test, and you have a high PTH, PHT level, uh, parathyroid uh, hormone or PTH level, there's a very good chance that you also have parathyroidism, which has a lot of other side effects for your body, can cause anxieties. There's a lot of other things. Okay. So do when you go for your GP, if you're over the age of 50 and you're a female, you, you are like, it's like one in three. I mean, I don't remember exactly what the rates were, but there's a lot. So do have them check your, those levels. Oh, I love horseradish. So um, that's what I was waiting to get to. Patiently I just wanted to, well, I know, but I want, I, I, just, always, something that's important. I just always joke about the waiting patiently because you, cut you know, off I cut you off constantly. So, doing, um, you know. Horseradish and hummus is very good. I do, um, I'll get like garlic Tuscany bread and I'll lightly toast it. And then I'll do um, sandwich pal, which is a horseradish oh, sauce nice. and a hummus mix, especially with a uh, caramelized onion hummus is a really good one with this. And I actually mix those two together like as the, uh, as the like condiment on the sandwich. And I'll do like different cheeses with like, like fresh greens oh, and so whatnot. Good. And it's a delicious mix. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And actually, uh, gorgonzola cheese, which is similar to blue cheese. This is, again, going to sound really gross. Um, I don't. Hi, Sherry R. I don't like celery. But the Italians, her, her father's family, excuse me. They take gorgonzola cheese, crumble it, mix it with ketchup, and put it on the celery as you would if you were doing like the peanut butter and the salt how that is they do they mix gorgonzola and you could do it with blue cheese and ketchup it sounds gross it is the only way that i will eat celery but i will warn you that the roughness of it if you eat so much it starts to like almost rip a layer of skin off in your <laughs> mouth you know hello leslie your mid forties and your thyroid. Yeah. The parathyroid has nothing to do with the thyroid, except for the, it, it's all about, it's called a parathyroid because it's connected to it's next to, hence the word para. Hi, Regina. So it's Regina. little, it's little doodabbies that are uh, next to your thyroid, but the thyroid functions separately and independently from the parathyroids. With hummus, Kim, it was with hummus. Hummus is so good. 
Yeah, and I do apologize. We don't normally get on food. It's because yeah, of we usually don't. Normal, but I, 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 we're talking about it. My tummy's growling, but it's I, I could be so apologies to anybody starving that's starving and have delicious food next to me and not be able to get it down my throat. It, 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 this is my life. It's always been. Sometimes in my life, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm doing okay. The other day, I was actually able to eat a, I ate a salad, and I had a little piece. I had some steak oh, and I had some rice. I make the caramelized onions for her all the time. Thank you for understanding better, Paula, because I didn't answer properly. No, caramelized onions are the bomb. Oh, my God. And blooming onions, when you dip it with the dill sauce, let's talk food. A lot of, you know, I go on so many lives that they go on to food, and I often click off because of my brain. And um, I'm here. I am making talking food on here. But if you're comfortable talking about well, it, right I'm comfortable now, talking about good. it right now. I'm I'm hungry, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to eat something when I'm done. That's mm -hmm. all. Yeah. What are we at? Forty-one. Forty-one. Five forty-one. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Just checking yeah. The time. And oh, we got we got eighty-three. Oh, we didn't make a hundred thumbs this time. Well, we, we had to split it up. We so had to split up yeah. our thing. Yeah. If you guys are here and you didn't hit a thumb, hit the thumb. We try to get a hundred thumbs. It's just a little game we play. They closed our Outback Steakhouse. Well, that's horrible. Jessica's an ad. I didn't see an ad pop up on mine. But... Yeah, it's interesting. Ads pop up differently for some people. Yeah. I don't know. And why. then if you have a, uh, I just thought about this. Um, if you have the uh, YouTube Prime, you're not supposed to get uh, ads. I wonder if you're in a live if you just don't get ads. Any of you have a pro, uh, the YouTube Prime or Google Prime, whatever it is, that Prime that you don't get ads? I'm just curious if you if that also takes out the ads in the live chats. Oh, no, what? Tina. What's going on, Tina? I missed that. Oh, the clothes. You don't get ads, Jason? YouTube Premium. Thank you, Kel. That's what I was trying to say. You have it in... You don't get ads at all. Okay. Okay, Nessa. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I know some, I think the only person I know is, is uh, Samantha from Mampha's Mix. I know she's got the, the premium or prime premium one. And she often says that she, because when she watches a video, she doesn't get ads and, and the person that she's watching gets uh, um, all the revenue as if she were to have watched the entire ad for having premium, just so you know that. So somebody who has a premium, they watch your videos, you get the credit as if they were, if you're monetized, as if they were to have watched the all entire ad. Little things I know. The more you know. Yeah. No ads in lives. That's cool, Suzanne. I didn't know that. It's like 30 bucks though. I, I just can't see, you know, I rather you haven't had money. an ad yet and don't pay. You yeah, that's what's it. Some people, yeah, it's weird. I've noticed some people seem to get some ads. I feel, I feel like I see some of the same people talking about ads more too. So I wonder if it's certain accounts or certain things you do. I don't. I, don't know. I, I uh, Sonia, Sonja, you pay fourteen ninety nine, Jason, for for the uh, YouTube Premium. Fourteen. So mm. good. maybe I'll cancel it because I was going to cancel a Hulu, and then I thought Tony watched something, so I didn't cancel it. And then I asked him. I asked him. I said, "Are you watching something on Hulu?" Because that's going up to eighteen bucks for me. And I, that's you know, I, and, hey, we're all watching our pennies, you know. So I might cancel the Hulu. The only thing is I do like to watch Hoarders. I fall asleep to Hoarders and I wake up and, and excited to clean my house. I wonder if you downloaded Hulu on your phone, if you can log in under my account. You're never that far. That's true. And I mean, technically, I'm like, well, that's where my office is. Yeah, we're on the same. Yeah, we're still on the same road. Yeah. You've had three to four ads in this live. I don't know what this uh, Janet, ads. I don't know why. I... I and we click, we actually, before you do your live, it says you want it to be conservative, aggressive. We put it to the least amount. But I think if we put it no ads, then on the replays, we won't have ads. And if there's not clickable ads on the replay, no you don't, yeah, there isn't a no ad on the live if you're going to, that we know of. So I got a, a hoarder story. So I, I love, the love hoarders. hoarders. I, I love it. Um, it makes me feel better about my mess. Yeah, it makes uh, me want to clean my house. It also does that as well. Yes. There was one. And I mean, by no means am I saying any of this in a political manner. It is actually something happening up here. You know, like I get it. But just, oh, yeah, there's a whole psychological One problem. of the guys on the show, he just yeah. has the best like comebacks to people. <laughs> and 
their kitchen is just like, obviously there's mice and rats and there's stuff everywhere and whatnot. And on the edge of a counter is a lemon that's been there for months easily. So it's a rotten lemon. Yeah. And she goes, well, can we like, like you're not going to throw it. Can we at least throw this out? And she takes it from his hands like, oh no, I, I borrowed that from somebody. I need to give it back. And he's like, nobody wants a rotten lemon from a rat house. <laughs> But that's it. It's, but, but sometimes you need to get to it. That is point. it is a mental illness, and you know how we always get mental health yeah, and meows. So it's much. a mental illness. Hoarding is a mental illness. Some of us hoard our yarn, so we're we're like really close. And and there's nothing nothing bad. It's not your slob. It's 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 a psychological problem. But sometimes you need. Somebody that can somebody to say nobody wants a rotten rat lemon because it's like okay that because we try to make logic out of it you know so yeah. if you are being like right in your face with this is the logic here you know yeah when you're finding tools to help people it's not the same tools help the same people <laughs> it looks like Jason says yeah right you got the two toddlers I have two toddlers in my house and constantly looks like a, a trailer park after a tornado yeah no I got kids. Thumbs. Oh, we're so close. We're at 90. I'm switching counts. If you didn't do thummies, do thummies. So I did them on your the dad and your aunt are hoarders. I, I'm borderline hoarder. I just move into bigger houses with my stuff. No, I'm joking. Um, well, I do. I have done that. But uh, yeah, I want to wean down. That's what that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm finding cool stuff and I'm planning to use what I have. I mean, I'm still going to buy yarn. You're a hoarder, Janet. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, it, it's it's a it's a psycho a psychological it's a thought process, you know. And and there's a there's a reason why we have a hard time letting go of inanimate objects that are to most people these seem meaningless. And right? I think that's another thing I like about the show is I I actually uh, learn a lot of tools watching it like oh i see when you're doing that room you made a pile of definitely no i can definitely say yes and then ones you're not sure of not sure so then once you get that pile you move the no away and then you go through the maybe pile and do another definitely no and you're physically seeing the piles as they go as they go, go. I'm like that's something i actually used the other day my well, i just said i just cleaned it. i use that in my bedroom I didn't finish my bedroom yet. But. Yeah, I mean, Jen, it's okay to keep beautiful momentum. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little story time here, folks. All right, so the man that lives in my house, he is in fact my husband. When we were first together, uh, we I moved around a lot, and I was I had a lot of my stuff after my first divorce. I had a lot of my stuff in my father's garage and basement. But he had like a, it was almost a finished basement. It was a nice basement, okay? I had boxes. I had construction size bags of antique hats from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s. I collected that. I also had a doll collection my mother started back when I was a kid. I had a children's literature library collection in English and Spanish. I had a collection of sign language books, uh, all kinds of stuff, all right? So, Basically, what I'm trying to say to you is I had an organized chaos in my father's basement and I had a lot of mementos. Oh, I got this at this point. This person gave me that point. They're no longer with us. What they did was basically tie me to a chair, rented a dumpster and threw all my stuff out. I'm going to tell you, I can sympathize with the people on hoarders when they do that to those people. I was flipping devastated. I wish we still had those hats. Yeah, those, those hats right now are worth made. I mean, I paid money for them too. They just threw the stuff in the garbage. Yeah, oh no, is right, Zoila. And I'm I'm okay. I'm forgiving of the fact. And what what the man now. said. Yeah, it's, it's only been twenty years, but yeah, and sometimes it rears its ugly head. But what the man said to me, the man that lives in my house. If you have things that are sentimental value to you, take photos of them, put them in a photo book. And instead of having to feel the need to keep the object. Something yeah, Kel, I was, I was freaking. 
But I, I was moving to North Carolina. My father was trying to sell his house. There was no other, there was no time to put this on, you know, that, that whole, oh, well, we'll have a tag sale or a yard sale, however you word them, or we'll, we'll, we'll put the stuff on Etsy or we'll do this or that. You well, know, that was another. Never going to do that. When you're going to have a tag sale, yeah. put your stuff out in a specific manner. So you have a section closest to the house, that stuff you would like to get money for, but okay. you wouldn't get rid of if no one buys. Okay. Then you have stuff that you don't want anymore, but if it doesn't sell at the tag sale, you can put it on a site to sell it. Okay. Then you have the stuff in the big closest closest to the street to the street is stuff <laughs> yeah. that if it doesn't sell it's either going in a free pile next to the garbage can or you're dumping it off at that you're dropping it off at the next uh, gotcha like that makes sense. Sort of type place so you almost set it up that way so you're not you're only bringing a little bit back in so maybe the stuff you wouldn't quite get rid of or you can make money for you're just putting in a corner in your garage to start right because that the, the many tag sales that i've had i've not done exactly that but what i would do is contact churches and say, okay, I'm having a tag sale. Are you, do you or, or do you know of any churches that are going to be doing uh, um, one of the, you know, they do the, they take uh, stuff and they have a, a, a tag sale for themselves to raise money. And I would try to find one that's going to be having one soon and then say, look, I'm having my yard sale, tag sale, whatever you call it, on whatever day you come by, you know, Sunday at four o'clock and take whatever is left out there. And I do it with the intention, well, there's a couple things I'm going to bring back into the house because those are kind of sentimental. And if I don't get money from, I'll keep them. But by the time the Sunday comes along, I'm like, oh my God, just take it all. Yeah. You know, and then on Sunday also, I had one lady, she was from Poland. She spoke very little English. And when you were a baby and I had all her clothes and um, she walked by, I had Tony's clothes. That's what it was. And you were a baby and I had a tag sale and I had the church coming. And this lady walked by with her stroller and she's looking and she came in and she had a little boy in her stroller and she's like, oh, and she was looking at all the kids clothes and they would work pretty well with her child. And I told her, I was like, whatever you can, she actually took, a, I, I gave her a huge bag, fill that bag and please just take it. And then we communicated because like I said, she spoke Polish and um she actually came. I said, you come back for the clothes because the church didn't want the clothes. This lady took all the clothes to her church. She came back oh, with, wow. she got a car. She came back and took all the clothes. And in the interim, I had gone into the house, grabbed coats, other things that I didn't put out in the tag sale and donated to her church because she was handing them out at her church. So sometimes that happens. So you, you luck out with that. But I didn't mean to go on a, a tangent about that. But yeah, we're we're all a little bit hoarders. Mm -hmm. Most everything I hoarded has been stolen from me. I know yarn barf. I don't know. That's crazy crap that's going on at your place, girl. Honestly, that breaks my ever loving heart. You know, it really does. And I'm not. I know it breaks your heart. And it makes you feel unsafe. That's that that even more over. You know, well, the man, the man. I still haven't found that big box of yarn that he he says he didn't throw out. All I have a whole a huge. Huge cardboard box filled with cupcake yarn, discontinued cupcake yarns. It is nowhere to be found. And once I get into that closet, if it's not in that closet, I know he threw it in the garbage. And he's done that to many of my other items. So I'm going to start throwing his stuff out. Just because we didn't talk about one of the things on here. and it's Oh, yeah, let's me. go for it. Yeah. Um, so she washed clothing, had left chapstick in it. Oh, I did. Washer dryer that. opens chapstick and that's there's no chapstick going. in it. It just, yeah, it did. I it water lightly waterproofed all of the clothing because yeah. that's what it can do. Yeah. And it reminded me of a time years and years and years ago. I like to put time and effort into pranks. So I bought, I had gotten on clearance a giant thing of waterproofing spray. And then I went and got a fluffy towel. And I, for months, just lightly, ever so slightly, lightly misted it. So it never got that like, hello, Mars. That like, hello, Mars. That like, um, slimy feeling that sometimes you get when you like waterproof canvas for your tent and whatnot. So after months of lightly missing this, it would not absorb any water. And it looked like it was a good towel. And she was visiting from North Carolina, I believe at the time. I came up and yeah. was in the shower and was like, your towel. Sucks. What's up with this towel? I'm like trying to dry myself and it's repelling <laughs> yes, the water. water. 
Why am I supposed to dry myself with a towel that doesn't absorb water? Well, I forget who I gifted that to before I moved, but yeah. Oh my fully, gosh. I mean, I spent like seven bucks on that towel. I bought a nice towel. So it, because if it was just a bad towel, you'd be like, oh, it's the towel just sucks. No, this I is got a nice blush. Yeah. Definite absorbing Jeez. towel. Hello, Stitches of Hope. Hello. And Mars, drop your link because you got a YouTube channel now. He also, Mars is on Instagram. Um, please, please go see our friend. Become his friend too. On May 5th, he's going to be performing in Elmira, New York. We are so stoked. And Mars, my friend um, Mel is going to be coming along and meeting us there or meeting us and going there with us. And she's going to become and support you as well. So we're looking forward to that. Very excited. Mm -hmm. He's a musician. He's a character. Yes, there it is. There's Mars's link. Go scoop him up. Mm -hmm. He's unique. And we love unique. Yeah, yeah. We love people that just be you, man. Just be you. Yeah, I'm super stoked. That's gonna gonna let me know how time. you're doing. On, on, I got too much to do right now. I was going to offer to to help make an outfit for you, but thank you, Zoila. Zoila double double dipped you on that one. She dropped it as well. So definitely go check out check out our our sweetheart. He's like my adopted son. Who's Frankie? Frankie's in here. Hold on. Frankie Ray is in the house. Oh, look at that! I was talking to Mars Frankie, and I just scooted right over you until I saw somebody else say hello, Frankie. Thank you, There's our Frankie and Yolanda. Thank you so much. Oh, Sherry R, you're a black cat now. Awesome. We're dropping a black cat members only video we just did before the live. I'll try to get that up, you know, maybe tomorrow. By tomorrow. Oh, you're going to D. Is it time already? Yeah, I was about to okay, yeah. All right, there. everybody. Frankie, I'm sorry you're popping in the end. Where's Elmira? Elmira is in New York, um, near Horseheads and thereabouts there. Look at that, Frank. You got fans in here, Frankie. Zoila so says hello to you. Yes, we're all going to be doing a uh, a hop over or a, a raid over, Black Cat raid over to uh, D's Creative Hands Crochet. We love her, and uh, she's like my I'm right. The olive oil video got so much like hits on it. It's so oh, crazy. he did. Yeah, he's so <laughs> serious. He's like, oh, and here's a phone, or here's a camera, and you could take pictures of your camera. And he's dressed like this alien, and he's just so it, it looks so serious, but he's totally ragging. You know, he, it, it's a goof. You know, but that's that's it. But you got me in the beginning. I'm like, oh my god, is this the character he's portraying? I'm like, oh, he's totally goofing. So it's so cool. But yeah, mm -hmm. definitely check them out. They are so hysterical. They're, they're little little shorts on Instagram, and they're so funny. Very clever. Very clever idea. There's the D link for the black cat. And Megan. hello, Megan. Megan, Megan, I did not. I owe you yarn. I was supposed to go to the post office yesterday. I was not feeling well. Today, I felt really bad. I got up at 2 o'clock in this morning in a panic attack. So I'm feeling better now. I've been feeling crappy. Monday morning, girl, first thing I am going to mail out that postage to you. And then I think I'm mailing it to you. Is it you? Somebody I owe mail mail to. Otherwise, I already mailed yours. One of the two. You might have already gotten it. One of the, I can't remember who I was supposed to mail it to. Anyway, we're going to go over to D's. I know we didn't open up the, um, you want to do it real quick? Yeah. We'll do this. This I'll just give you, but. I know that I know that Michelle was in the chat. We meant to do this, but then we got so distracted with the the pixelation. Oh, that's really pretty. These colors are awesome. Oh, a beautiful green, really, really army green. Oh my gosh! Oh, I love this. This wow, this is really gorgeous. Cool. This is going to be a fun wrap. This is, and it's nice, a big wrap too. Oh, so you can wear it over your head. Oh my gosh, it is ombre, but it's a very slight ombre from a lighter olive green to a darker olive green, very camo -ish. It's awesome. And it's yeah. a huge shawl. And you could wear that as around your neck, yeah. like a front thing. There's so many things you could do with shawls. And Mars, no, you cannot have it. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's obsessed. Her, which yeah, you probably can't De breathe. definitely. I don't know if she's still here. I feel bad. She was here earlier and before we screwed up our, well, we didn't screw up before we jumped over here. Yeah. Cool. That is really pretty. It's a really pretty stitch. I don't know the stitch. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I like oh, these like very nice. ones. ones. And she does like what I like to do too is where you start it with a different color. So it gives you a nice clean edge to start with. That's really pretty. I like that very much. I'm going to be stealing that and borrowing Thank it. you so much. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. Anyway, everybody, let's see. We got 42 people still here. We're going to do a 
still here. We're going to, I know, yeah, you we'll, can't, Sally, we'll show it all when people we'll can see show it. it when you, when you can see it. So I'm not even bothering. Thumb. Oh my you gosh, one thumb. One thumb. Anyone out there Everybody do out thumb there, do a thumb. Before we close out. Oh my. Have you done yours? I have not. Oh, we got a 200. Someone did a thumb. Yeah, I'm we, gonna, okay. you did. Okay. Now we can black hat, right? All right, because we've got to get to 100. That's just how it is. I'm going to stay on for a second because she's doing her other thumb. Yeah, I'm trying. Why but yeah, so we'll do, we're going to do a video where we re-show all of the things so everyone that missed it um, gets to see the items that you couldn't see, especially the amazing hand-painted shoes Mama G made me. Yeah, we didn't even show that. Um, so we'll definitely, there's the black, I was waiting for another perfect. Oh, thank you, So there's, Zoila. The, there's the link. Click on there So I love the heck you all. Out of here. Thank you all so much. I had a house. <laughs> and don't forget, we might have an extra special giveaway next week. Yeah, next week we'll probably remember the giveaway. And thank you for the thumb, Megan. All right, love you guys and see you over at these. Are we going over here and hitting mm -hmm. this? Yes. And then we go over here and we do this and we go. <laughs>